This is a toast to the most glorious flag to ever fly over land, sea, air, and through the vastness of space. Here's to the red of it. There's not a thread of it, nor no a shred of it, and all the shred of it from foot to head. But heroes bled for it, face steel and lead for it, precious blood shed for it, bathing in red. Here's to the white of it, thrilled by the sight of it, who knows the right of it, but feels the might of it through day and night. Womanhood cared for it, made manhood dare for it, purity's prayer for it, keeps it so white. Here's to the blue of it, Beauteous view of it, heavenly hue of it, star spanned the dew of it, constant and true. Diadems clean for it, states stand supreme for it, liberties beam for it, bright as the blue. Here's to the whole of it, the star striped and pole of it, the body and soul of it, all oh, in the roll of it, sun shining through. Hearts in the cord for it, swear by the sword for it, thanking the Lord for it, red, white, and blue. Well, mine's mostly linen, actually, and uh, in fact, linen was the most common fabric for clothing at that time. They had cotton, but it was uh, sometimes expensive to import, especially when there were um, embargoes on British trade at the time. And, uh, and wool, of course, was, very, was also very popular. Didn't have the lovely synthetics of today. Mine is sort of a, is a more of a middle class, upper middle class outfit. Um, the gentlemen here in the militia, they range from what would be like farmer's sons uh, and somewhat uh, lower on the, on the totem pole. Uh, Washington did not care for the militia at all. But then Washington turned it over to Nathaniel Green, the militia. The th he turned around and turned the militia into a real fighting unit. Uh, the Minutemen became mostly sharpshooters and harassers. Now, the Minutemen, once they were organized by Green, uh, Washington got to liking them. What they did was they put the militia up front to harass the British. They'd harass the British and fire and run away. Now the British expected them to run away, so they ran after them. Well, on the other side was the Continental Army waiting for them. So the British would run right into the Continental Army. And then what they kind of did was they broke the militia up into uh, Minutemen companies. All right, uh, that was in 1774. Uh, Worcester County actually was the one that started it. They uh, broke the militia companies up you had to be under 30 and really patriotic uh, and ready to go in a minute. That's how they got their name. Shoulder yaw, fire lock. Poise yaw, fire lock. Full cock, your fire lock. Bring him down to the primary position. Handle your cartridge. Prime your pan. Charge your powder. Poise your fire lock. Present. This is a brown vest ship's carbine, a short version of the Tower of Musket. It takes a bayonet and is 76 caliber. This man <laughs> has a short land pattern brown vest musket. Note the difference in size. This one is made for taking into a ship's rigging. This one is for the land. Our companion here has an intermediate sized musket called the Ranger musket. Designed on advice of Rogers, of Rogers Rangers. He is replacing his flint. Each militiaman needs to be equipped with a cartridge box 
a bayonet or other sidearm, a canteen, a haversack, and a powder horn. This is part of the militiamen's marching kit. Powder down the barrel. Freeze it. Boys, you all fire lock. Half cock, you fire lock. Full cock, you fire lock. Handle your cartridge. Drive your pan. Not it on the barrel. Reset. Fire. Thank you, sir.